we are going to discuss now how using the spectrometer and grating we will find the wavelength of mercury vapor now apparatus required here is the <coughs> mercury vapor lamp this is a mercury vapor lamp which produces white light which contains different colors ranging from violet to red spectrometer and the grating grating using which grating <coughs> using which we are going to measure the wavelength of this light <coughs> So the spectrometer contains <coughs> three parts, namely the collimator, which focuses the light, the telescope, which which you can get the image of the slit. I'll show you the slit now. The collimator contains the collimator contains an opening here. Through which the light will go. This is called the slit, a very narrow opening, which can be widened, or which can be reduced. It can, it can be widened. It should be very, very narrow like this. So through this, the light will go, and then the image is focused using the telescope. Now I'll place the collimator slit in front of the lamp. That is light. <coughs> the grating is placed in the grating table or grating mount so it's, it's placed in the grating mount like this so that the light from the collimator goes and then incident on the grating at 90 degrees this is called normal incidence <coughs> now Through the eyepiece of the telescope, we have to watch the direct ray image. Direct ray image through the eyepiece of the telescope to capture the light. And then focus it so that it is is giving you a sharp image. Now about the image now. Now the radial, <coughs> radial screw is closed. Radial screw is closed so that the telescope cannot move now. And the minute adjustment screw here, this one, is adjusted. When you adjust this one, the image of the slit that is visible inside. Now can be moved, focused towards the vertical crossfire that is available in the eyepiece. I will do it and then show it to you. I am just moving the fine adjustment screw. Now I have just placed the image of that fine slit coinciding with the vertical crosshair, which can be seen now. <coughs> now it's being focused, as you can see now. Focus the eyepiece now. You can see the image of the slit there, very bright. You see that it is in focus now. You can see the horizontal crosshair now, and a similar vertical crosshair can be seen. The horizontal crosshair is visible. The vertical crosshair is not visible because the slit, which is the bright light, is actually coinciding on the vertical crosshair. So you are not able to see that. So this is the position. This is called direct ray image. <coughs>